This video will walk you through how to find and select a contest on FanDuel.com. Once you log in, you'll land on the homepage, or as they call it, the lobby. You'll see the featured contests up above. These are the feature, each one of these is a featured contest. Free rolls, various championships, happy hour. These are all different contests that will change periodically and have different themes and start on different dates. So these will switch a lot. So keep an eye out up here. These are their featured contests that often have millions of dollars in cash prizes. So once you click on some of these, for example, the World Fantasy Baseball Championship, it will have its own landing page with details of the championship. Oftentimes these are live championships. So in this case, it's 90 finalists win a trip to Vegas. And then you have the live contest in Vegas. So to walk you through all the cash prizes, the prize breakdown, how to enter, the qualifiers that are coming up, some of the people that have already qualified for the contest. Other than that, you have the day-to-day -day contest down below. On the left side, you'll have filters. Right now, it's selected on all sports. So all sports will show that are in session at this point. Right now, it's only NFL and MLB season. So if you click on NFL only, it will only show the NFL contests. And then down below that, you have the different contest types. In this case, head-to-head, -head, which is just versus one other person, leagues, which are a set number of size, and once, they're, once that size is fulfilled, all the entrants are in, the league will start, but not until then. 50-50s, where you win 50% of the league wins, the top 50% wins double their money, minus the rake. And then tournaments or GPP, which are guaranteed cash prizes, which will run regardless of how many people enter on the date. So you can filter by your contest type. You can also filter by contest name. You can sort uh, M meaning multi-entry, G meaning guaranteed prize pool, that GPP. And then you have entries. This is the number of entries that, are, that have already entered the tournament. You have the size, so this is the total amount of entries that can enter the tournament. You have the entry fee, the prizes, the start date and time, and the enter button. Some of these are clickable like entries and you can see the different people that have entered. So this is an important element of selecting a contest on FanDuel. If you're in a 50-50 with 10 other people or a head-to-head, -head, you can click on that other member and see their history. So some of these people will have, for example, Dave NYC. He has 106 total games. You can see the breakdown of what he's played. He's not necessarily brand new, but he hasn't played a ton. Whereas if you look back on that username Mooseman78, you'll see he has a ton of action here. April 2014, looks like he's really into NBA, solid in MLB. He's playing a lot, so that means that he either has a big bankroll or he's staying alive. So you might want to stay away from this guy when you're doing a head-to-head. -head. It's just one of those things where you do research, give yourself the best chance at winning, and select the right contest. For the prizes, you can click on the prize number and it'll give you a total breakdown of what positions win what. So in some of these contests, for example, in this contest, it's a million dollar contest. First place wins $100,000, and then all the way up to 46,000th place, which wins, ten, which wins $10. So you can calculate the ratio of payout spots to the number of people in the contest. You can look at the rake for a particular contest. You can look at the entrance for a particular contest. You can look at how many entries are in that contest. So there are a number of ways that you can analyze a contest and select the right one for you. So once you're ready, you just click that enter button and the next step will be to draft a team.